What up guys, doing a brand new review for the brand new Carnifex album, Die Without Hope. Carnifex are a deathcore band, um, deathcore slash death metal band. Uh, they recent, they've released uh, before this uh, four albums, uh, starting with Light in My Face and ending with Until I Feel Nothing. I actually saw them with Ultra Parish a couple of years ago. Even though I didn't know who they were at first, they were a very good band. I ended up liking a lot of their music. I think they're one of the more talented uh, deathcore bands for slowly releasing more progression within each album. And also just the fact that their sound is much more heavier. There's tons of breakdowns, but there's also just a defining heaviness that's very reminiscent of just straight up death metal. Now, they did go on a small hiatus, but they're back with a new album, Die Without Hope. And needless to say, uh, there's been a lineup change. They have a new guitarist in who is an absolute shredder, and it shows within parts of this album. Um, for, right off the bat, this is very good. This is in no way a bad album. But it's like they took one foot in and an, one step forward and another step back at the same time. But it came out basically uh, safe and even. The album itself uh, focuses on elements they've been releasing since their last two albums, Until I Feel Nothing and Hell Chose Me. In particular, the symphonic elements and the black metal elements have been slowly released uh, through their career. Uh, the album, where that really shows though, is in songs like the title track, where it's a bit different. It's uh, almost progressive a little bit in its structure. It's still a classic uh, Carnifex album. Breakdowns up the ass, drop A tuning. Um, just tons of uh, breakdowns as well, but also tons of tremolos, and with the addition of a new guitarist, I forget his name, uh, solos have finally been added to their sound, and needless to say, they're all fantastic. They're very shredder in design, which shouldn't really surprise anybody from what you've heard from, like, Dragon to the Grave. Uh, but they also bring the black metal elements much more forward this time, uh, especially on the track Dark Days and on the title track itself. Uh, as for me, Dark Days is like the best song off here because it really shows where they're trying to go with this ambitious uh, uh, mindset I think they have. It's symphonic, it's complex, uh, more complex than what they usually do in structure, and it features a killer solo. Um, but at some times through this album, they kind of take a step back. I mean, uh, this, the opening track's not really that interesting. They even dragged into the uh, grave, even though it has a great solo in it really doesn't uh, speak volumes really for what the ambitious sound but where that kind of falls flat ideas that come through in like the song Condemned to Decay where it's really heavy just in your face uh, very uh, much uh, the word I'm trying to feel is very much a hell chose me kind of vibe to it um, the album itself has not again a ton of breakdowns but they're all very well placed and very heavy this is not a light album at the slightest bit it is Carnifex doing what they do best and minus like the few gripes I have about a few tracks that seem stagnant, I actually really do enjoy that you can listen to it the whole way through. I really do enjoy it the whole way through. Um, but when it gets to cuts like Dark Days, uh, Condemned to Decay, and Die Without Hope, that's when you really see the ambition they were going for in this album really shine, and it makes it pretty damn good. Overall, this is the best thing they've released, I think, thus far, as uh, far as content. Uh, like I said, incredible riffing, some absolutely fantastic drum patterns too, especially on Dark Days. Um, overall, I feel this the step in the right direction uh, for Carnifex. They just need to pick it up more on their next album and fully show that. Well, subscribe, uh, keep it metal. Peace.